But moving on, Dave, there might be a trade happening for the number six pick. We've talked about it before. We've talked about it in the sense of the Hawks. We mentioned it in our mock draft, actually, because the rumors were DeMar DeRozan, the 11th, to the Hawks. Well, Dave, just a couple weeks later, how funny things change as our favorite blog boy, Kevin O'Connor, um, NBA, put out a tweet that has been sending the draft world on fire. It says, sources, the Timberwolves are attempting to acquire a second lottery pick. They've had talks with the Hawks for six. A possible deal could include Jarrett Culver and the 17th. A number of teams are interested in Atlanta's sixth overall pick. The Pelicans and Celtics are among them, sources say. So, like, the Celtics... Kevin O'Connor rumored the Celtics moving up again. he did. Yeah, I'm shocked to hear that. Yeah, so you've got the Celtics. They've... The three draft picks, that's theirs. Um, The Pelicans, they're in the deal because probably Drew Holiday would be involved. And then now we got the Timberwolves. If I'm I'm thinking... there's a rumor today that Drew Holiday did not want to play in Atlanta. Yeah, which, I mean would shake into the Pelicans. We'll touch them first. Them T-Wolves and Celtics of the Pelicans. If Drew Holiday don't want to pay play there, how do you get that to work besides you your pick in the sixth? There's no you way, don't. right? Yeah. You, no, the deal's dead in the water at that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Drew Holiday wants to play for a winner. So I think they're looking more at the Karis LeVert Brooklyn Nets <laughs> deal uh, mm-hmm. to see if that could be a package that they want to go down on. Um there are some other teams out there as well, but like mm-hmm. that seems to be the most likely in my mind is, hey, if we can flip through for Karis, even though Karis isn't a, uh, yeah. an ideal fit on paper for what that team is doing, mm-hmm. still, I mean, he's a player who's, you know, entering his prime already and uh, could be a good help to them. And to answer Mad Rogue's question, because this will segue us into the T-Wolves, you know who the Wolves want at six, Dave? If they're giving up Culver, Isaac Okoro. Because I think yeah. about it, I, I have harped yeah. on this team for their biggest issue is defense. Most why not, of why not feel like somebody who's better than I, like I, I any of Dia. I would say well, I don't think of Dia is gonna be there at six. That's oh, like okay. so I this is at six. Like uh, yeah, I, I know Dave saying, but I, Dave at I've number heard, one, I, I would take Denny Abdia all day at one. Like if I'm the T Wolves, I would take Abdia all day at one. And be happy with that. But let's say the rumors are true. They're going to take LaMelo Ball at one. Sure. And that doesn't add defense to me. But it adds a good two or a guard. <laughs> it adds a guard next to D'Lo. You play uh, Ball and D'Lo together. That means I still need defense. And I feel like the T-Wolves, just by having them in a trade talk, just from what I've seen over a year, aren't that happy with what they've seen with Culver. Or they're not... They don't think the progression is going to be there for this team now that has D'Lo, has Cat. They want to start winning and not be at the top of this draft because guess what? They don't have their draft pick next year, so it doesn't help them to be bad. To where I look at it and I go, maybe you're looking at it to where you've got D'Lo at the one, Ball, like then it kind of fits into where it's like, Ball's your two, Okoro at the three, with a Kogi kind of switching in there for like if Ball's out there, Kogi's at the three. If Okoro's out there, maybe a Kogi's at the two. If Ball's not out there, to work like it creates some switchability with a Kogi. Um, but Okoro would be my guy because the thing I think with Luke either Beasley's their first that. pick or their second the pick, situation. what? Malik Beasley's gone. 100% I, then. I'm not touching that one. Like I would lean towards no, but I don't know what the T Wolves would do. Like. That's a situation to where it's like, I I would assume he's not going to be there, but who knows? Maybe they get him on the cheap, cheap because of what happened with him. Yeah, it's like, the NBA. Like, I assume mm-hmm. he, Terrence, uh, obviously in, in, up in, yeah. uh, uh, I want to say Toronto. Mm-hmm. I don't know why my brain farted on that, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Terrence Davis in Toronto both have some legal outstanding issues they have to deal with, but I think both of them will end up on a team this season, so... You do wonder. But I you mean, also, wonder. Alexis and Eric bring up two good points. It's like, I think Okoro would be the pick because of the defense, but also, Patrick, if they're not going to go with a 4 at 1, like a Denny Patrick Abdia, Williams. Patrick Williams, yeah. right before the Pistons, would be like a big haha F you kind of a thing. It's a win win um, deal. Yeah. And then you've got Devin Vassell, which this is the mental gymnastics I've had to go through with mock drafts, Dave, is Okoro Vassell. It's like, well, Okoro's defense is better. But Vassell's offense is better, and he his defense isn't bad. 
to where it's like most of the time if I'm picking actually, between the two it's actually better than Isaac Okoro's mm-hmm. because it's not just limited to on ball defense in my mm-hmm. opinion yeah I I think that Isaac Okoro his ceiling is higher than Devin Vassell for me personally um, I'm higher on like if I had to put a big board Okoro would be over Vassell not by far but yet again the question is Okoro's offense and how that's going to develop into a full game where Vassell does have an offense. He, I have no questions about it stepping in as a rookie. Devin Vassell's floor is higher. I was going to compare him to um, who's the uh, kid who started in Detroit, went over to the Lakers, been on one year deals with the Lakers. Uh, KCP. KCP. Yeah. His floor is KCP. That's worst case scenario. He is a KCP and like, which is mm-hmm. still a great three point shooter yeah. and an above average defender. Where a Coro, like, I've seen the highest Stanley Jimmy Johnson. Butler, the lowest Stanley Johnson. Yeah, that scares the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. So, best of luck. Um, <laughs> I don't. I, I, I'm with. I would take Patrick Williams over him. Mm-hmm. I would take. Do you think uh, the Wolves Devin should move up? Yeah. Why? Why the fuck not? Like they. They're they're in a weird situation where they just suck as a team, mm-hmm. um, and you know their whole plan of we'll just score 140 points a night does not seem great. But yeah. uh, if, if you're already going in one direction, and there are rumors of cat, you know, hey, we got cat Delo. If we can't get him Devin Booker, we got to find another way to make him happy. Mm-hmm. Well, we got to make it to the playoffs. Then how do we do that? You go all in on top end prospects. If you have to sacrifice a little future to get there, do it. They yeah. did that move to get Delo in. They went after Malik Beasley, which mm-hmm. I think he'll. I'm with you. I think he'll sign a cheaper deal. Yeah. Might be another one year prove a kind of a deal, or mm-hmm. it might be a, a two year deal, like a one and one. Who knows? But I do think that they go for somebody. Shit, I wouldn't even be surprised if Jalen Smith maybe uh, he could would go. Be, I, I nice. think he could go in there. I don't know if they have to get all the way up to six, but no. like I could see them getting him somewhere in the mm-hmm. like. 9, 10, 11, 12 area, you know? The, the only question, and I didn't really look into a, into this until... So Soapy and I had a discussion about the Wolves, and at that time I was all on the Wiseman train. Wiseman's your best pick because you need defense, you need someone to protect the rim because, you know, Cat's good, but, like, he's not Cat the best rim protector. Yeah. Say that. Um, but then one of the commenters kind of was, like, was mentioning things about Cat's defense, and I did a deeper look, and I was like, oh, yeah, I don't want Cat anywhere near the outside guarding the perimeter to where it's like it's kind of made me flip on, like, when I'm thinking about a prospect at the four for the T-Wolves, mm-hmm. how are they going to play defense? Like, they need, like, and the thing with uh, Jalen Smith is, if you most of the scouting reports is that his rim-protecting and in, interior defense is good. It's his uh, outside defense and spacing that needs work. Like offensively, floor spacer can shoot from the outside, can space the four, yeah. has a stretch four big potential. But it's like that defense on the like that's the thing. The T Wolves either at one seventeen six one of their picks they need someone to play defense. The, so the, Patrick Williams, it. if they go up to six, seems like a perfect fit. <laughs> that actually, I didn't think about that. That makes sense though because of. Like the thing that I also think of why the Celtics might be in this too is Celtics. You're, not, get, you're not getting I any. I don't Inyaka. think Anyaka's there at six anymore. He could be. likely, but if he is there, then they could see yeah. them go that route. Yeah, he could be there. I. It's it's going to be tricky what the Cavs do and the Hornets do, but like if the Celtics move up, it's Anyaka. If Anyaka's gone, they could even move up for Williams. No, the like, Celtics aren't going to move up. It doesn't matter. How? Uh, yeah. My haters in the comment yeah. section go suck a dick. The They're Celtics living rent free in your head, Dave. They're living they rent free. It's the fans <laughs> in the blog boys that do. Like uh, those are the guys. Do. They live every, in your head. Uh, every time I have to hear about the Celtics are trading <laughs> up for the past fucking half decade, it's never happening. Get over yourselves. Uh, You're not the center of the universe. You're not the best mm-hmm. team in basketball anymore. It's not the 19 fucking 60s <laughs> or 70s. Uh, I, mean, I know you were for decades. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I mean, and the last thing I was gonna say is basically. Uh, Maybe this is all from the Piston rumors. They promised Williams, so teams are like, shit, I gotta move up to get Williams. Um, yeah. Maybe I the Pistons are baiting teams, and they're going to move back yeah. and get some extra value because yeah. they're a team who desperately needs assets. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the only problem I will say from this, quickly, I don't know how much is into this, how does adding Jarrett Culver in the 17 help the Hawks win now? Apparently you want to win now with Trey Young. How does that help? Yeah, I mean, 
don't know if it helps him win now, but I think Jared Culver uh, has already turned into a reclamation project. Yeah. His shot was so much worse than we thought. Is he the Josh uh, Rosen of the NBA? No, he's not getting passed around like a $2 never mind. I mean, um, last year was his rookie year, Dave. Yeah. And he's already in a trade talk to get moved on. Like That's not, that's not incredibly uncommon. Okay. Uh, remember, they took a player who was known for his defense, and mm-hmm. his defense was okay, but like, he did not fit what they need to do. Yeah. Now, the Hawks don't really need him to create offense. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a lead ball handler, and when they asked him to do that, like he he did have some success in the Timberwolves, but like clearly not on the same level as someone like a D'Angelo Russell could. So yeah, you look at him being an off ball guy for the uh, the Hawks, and you're like, oh yeah, I totally could see that. Like it, he's not as he's not as good as Herder, but he could be a mm-hmm. better defender and someone yeah. who's a little more versatile, perhaps. So like. There's still upside to him. I'm not. I'm not on the bus train mm-hmm. yet. But like for his pick, he's definitely not who we thought he would be right away because yep. he was a second player. Mm-hmm. So now, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things of I look at this thing. How does that really fit what you were saying? But. Okay.